<laughs> All right, we're here with Glenn Foot here. He's headlining the show, the cream of the crop, Phil Jeffrey's latest promotion on the 30th of November at Rainton Meadows. Glenn, good to see you back in the ring very soon. Yeah, I'm glad to be back um, since July. For, um, boxing William Wappen on this show. He's a durable kid, but I have no problem beating him. Just a good warm-up fight. Hopefully get a good six rounds. Well, the thing is, I mean, the talking about it before, the idea was to get you some rounds, so they yeah. deliberately picked William Warburton, who he's a bit of an upsetter. He, he, he causes, a, we're talking about Georgie Keane, yeah. um, he's upset a couple of fighters up here in terms of prospects coming through who are unbeaten. Yeah. Um, but I think it's perfect because it's the idea of this is it, it's warming you up ready for Ahmed Patterson. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And that's for the English title and the British title eliminator. Yeah, that's correct. So what are your thoughts? I mean, I don't want to be looking too far past William Warburton, but I do want to talk about future plans. You yeah. start off with Patterson, and what, what are your thoughts on that fight? Well, Patterson, he's a decent kid. Um, but he's English, English champion. He boxed Chad Gainer last time. Um, he stopped Chad Gainer by uh, close his eye. Um, I beat Chad Gainer in the prize fighter. Um, Pat, he's, a, he's unbeaten fighter than a Patterson, but um, got no sweat with Patterson. Um, I'll beat him every day of the week. And in terms of Patterson's threats, obviously you, you know of him, you know of his amateur sort of pedigree yeah. as well. What does he bring to the table that you're going to have to watch for? He doesn't bring that to the table I've got to watch for. I've got to watch about, I haven't got to watch about any fight, in the, any welterweight, and beat anybody that put in front of us. And, and, um, so when you, when you say any welterweight, yeah. obviously from a British point of view, yeah. does that include Frankie yeah. Gavin? That, inf that includes Frankie Gavin. Um, might as well put Patterson and Frankie Gavin in the same ring. I'll fight the two of them in the same night. Aye. Aye. That's, right, isn't it? that's, that's what we want to be hearing here. Yeah. So, in terms of, you've got the one fight with William Warburton. Obviously, I'm, you'll not be taking that lightly in any way, I'm sure. Well, Warburton, he's, um, he's a good durable kid. We've just seen um, his last fight he beat, that Jordy Keane, um, unbeaten kid. Yeah. Um, so, if you just let him get his own way, he just pots away, but I'd love to get his own way when I fight him. So, uh, good local show as well. And in terms of obviously the, the North East fans, well, obviously not just the North East fans, obviously fans all over the country know who you are after your prize fighter success. Yeah. How, how have things gone since that? Just had an arm injury, um, I was out for like nine months. So, just set back, set back a little bit when I should have been, should have been like champ, English champion and British champion last year. Yeah. But, um, We'll, we'll back up now, we'll be, um, we're fit and ready, so we'll get this fight I don't work with and next year will be the biggest show of my career. That's well, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you Glenn, yeah. but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get some more talking done before the show, but uh, all the very best for that. Cheers, man,